Hi everyone, welcome back. Hope you all are doing well. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you all a beautiful and yet much affordable four bedroom detached property with a garage. This is Longford from Gleason Homes. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. It could be useful to you. This is located at Bradford. There are some outstanding primary and secondary schools nearby. There's also a grammar school. Now going with the floor plans, in the ground floor you have the garage, living room, kitchen with dining, utility and a washroom. On the first floor we have four bedrooms with the master bedroom having the ensuite facilities and a common family bathroom. These are the front visuals of the house and you're getting a garage towards the other side. So as you enter the house you'll find a spacious and quite a lengthy hall in front of you with various partitions made towards the upstairs living kitchen and dining and if you can see there's a window coming towards the front end as well so first we'll explore the living room a very comfortable living room with good space and style as you can see uh, it's distributed in length you can easily plan some lengthy sofas towards both the ends and also a tv set Towards the front end, you're getting a wide window, so plenty of natural light falling into this living room. I also like the interiors done in this room, the color combination which they chose, the maroon and the creamy look. It goes well. I just realized that there's another small window, single window towards the other end of the living room as well. So that corner also will be getting some natural light and ventilation. Overall a very decent living room with good space. Now let's check out other rooms in this property. Now from this hall walking towards the kitchen and dining spaces which are coming behind it. It's a lovely kitchen with really good space. As you can see, uh, it's a white and box shaped kitchen with the dining and utility spaces provided here. So towards one side, you have a very wide kitchen space and towards the opposite side, they actually divided the space to have a dining space and also the utility room separately. And uh, you also have the garden access to these French doors here and there's a nice window coming towards the kitchen end so plenty of natural light falling in this kitchen and check out the space guys it's really good quite quite a wide kitchen actually and i also love the worktop it's been spread out actually towards two sides uh, very big enough you can plan a lot of items and they gave a lot of cupboards at the bottom and even at the top the oven is coming just below the gas hob which is quite common in most of the properties and here they do provide the gas hobs and also the upgraded version of the electric you can choose whatever you want to I was actually checking for the refrigerator but then I realized that uh, they actually planned the refrigerator uh, behind this door here. Uh, this is really inconvenient to plan something in the corner, especially something like refrigerator. You can't always close the door and uh, take stuff from your refrigerator. If it was me, I would have planned it uh, towards the other side of this door here where the sofa is planned. You can easily plan a double door fridge. And if it's a single door fridge, you can plan it under the clock over there beside these um, cupboards. Again, it's totally up to you. Once you have this kind of property, you can plan it in any way convenient to you. So you can also plan a dishwasher here like this. Now let's check out the dining space here. As you can see towards the other end, you have a space made up for this dining table here. So as per your family requirement, you can plan a nice dining table here. And since you also have the garden access to the French doors, uh, you'll be having a great view. You'll be getting a decent garden with fence around it. Mm -hmm. 
now moving towards the utility space which is coming just beside it here if you want you can plan the washing machine and also the dryer if you don't want to go for the dryer then you can ask them to provide the space with the cupboards the boiler is given in this utility here you also have the garden access through the door provided in this utility and uh, from from this door you can actually go towards the garage as well you'll be seeing the garage from here but at the moment we don't have access to these doors overall a decent space they also provided a door for this utility room now let's check out the washroom which is coming in the ground floor this is beside the kitchen uh, it's a small washroom here you have the water closet sink and uh, they managed to give you a window as well so there is ventilation even in this small washroom This was all about the ground floor. Now let's move towards the first floor and check out the rooms there. As I told you in the beginning, on the first floor we have four bedrooms with the master bedroom having the ensuite facilities and a common family bathroom. So first, let's explore the master bedroom. So here on first floor you normally have two double bedrooms and uh, two single bedrooms. So this is a double bedroom as you can see and uh, you can easily plan a double cot here and there is space to walk around. You'll be getting a nice window towards uh, one side so plenty of natural light falling in this room. So towards the opposite side here they actually plan the wardrobes. The space is okay. And also you can see this attached bath that is en suite. The space looks okay. Uh, you have the walk-in shower, water closet, sink and there's a window. So you still have ventilation even in this bathroom. In these kind of narrow and lengthy uh, bathrooms wherein one side you have the walk-in shower and towards the other side they plan the water closet the doors actually come in between it's kind of like a block so they need to give some extra space actually so that it won't block the vision otherwise uh, the room is really good with the attached bath now let's check out the second bedroom so beside this master bedroom there is a, a single bedroom this is little bigger than the single bedroom you can plan a single cot here but um, you can see some kind of extension coming up here this is from the staircase so you can plan some stuff on top of it but then you don't get the extra space because that can't be removed so you can only plan a single cot in this room The corridor space is good in this house and just before moving towards the other two bedrooms in between you have a small storage space with a door and lock. You can plan something in this small room here. Now let's check out the second double bedroom of the house. Again it's the third bedroom. So this is a double bedroom as you can see and uh, you can plan a double cot or a king size bed if you want to. And towards one side you have a wide window so plenty of natural light falling in this room. They didn't plan a wardrobe here in this room but if you want you can plan a wardrobe there as you can see uh, the place where they actually put the table and the mirror there is really good space to plan a wardrobe overall a decent bedroom with good space
Now moving towards the fourth bedroom of the house. This is coming just beside the third bedroom. It's a single bedroom but the space looks okay. It's slightly smaller than the double bedroom. So towards one side you can plan a single cot and uh, towards the other side you can plan something, a wardrobe or a study table, anything you want to. And uh, you're still getting a nice wide window towards one side so plenty of natural light falling even in this room. This is all about the fourth bedroom of the house. Now let's check out the family bathroom which is coming just beside it. So this is the family bathroom. The space looks okay. You have the water closet, sink and uh, there's a tub. And you also get a window uh, in this bathroom. So the ventilation is good. We covered all the rooms in this property. Overall a decent property for very good price. I hope you liked watching my today's video. Do give me your suggestions and feedback in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Also if you are watching my channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and feel free to activate the bell icon at the bottom so that you won't miss out on my future uploads. Stay safe, stay connected, see you in another vlog.